Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel at Glissom School. So today we are doing new chapter from class 9 and the chapter name is Introduction to Euclid's Geometry and we are doing exercise 5.1. Chapter number is 5. So here the question number 1 says which of the following statements are true or which are false? Give reasons for your answers. So here first is only the line can pass through a single point. So this statement is false as there are infinite number of lines that can pass through the point. Question number second from the same question, question number one. So here this is a part second. There are an infinite number of lines which pass through the two distinct points. So the statement is false because one and only one line can be drawn through two distinct points. Third part says a terminated line can be produced indefinitely on both the sides. So here the statement is true because a terminated line can be produced both the sides infinitely. So now let's come to quote part 4. If two circles are equal then their radius are equal. So the statement is true. If two circles are equal i.e. their areas are pi r square are equal then their radius are also equal. So now let's come to the last part that is part number 5th. In figure if AB and PQ and PQ is equal to XY then AB equal to XY. True. According to Euclid's axiom, things which are equal to the same things are equal to one another. So now let's talk about question number two. Give a definition for each of the following terms. Are these terms known that need to be defined first? What are they and how might you define them? So here the first term is parallel line. Two lines having no common points are parallel lines. Perpendicular line that is part number second. Two lines which form angle of 90 degree with each other are perpendicular lines. Third is line segment. The line which have two endpoints is a line segment. Fourth is radius of circle. The line segment from the center of circle to the circle of radius of circle is radius of circle. Now let's come to the next part that is part fifth square. A quadrilateral having all sides equal and all sides right angles. So question number three says consider two postulates given below. So the first part is given any two distinct points A and B there exits a third point C is between A and B. This is part first and the second part is there are exits at least three points that are not on the same line. Do these postulates contain any undefined terms? Are these postulates consistent? Do they follow from Euclid's postulates explain? So here we have to explain the first point given this is there are various undefined terms in the given postulates. The given postulates are consistent because they refer to two different situations. Also, it is impossible to deduce any statement that contradicts any well-known axioms and postulates. So, these postulates do not follow any Euclid's postulates. They follow from the axiom given two distincts. There are unique lines that passes through them. So this is the solution for question number 3. Now let's come to question number 4. If a point C lies between two points A and B such that AC and BC then prove AC equals to 1 upon 2 AB. Explain by drawing the figure. So here is a drawing point A and B point C center point minus equals. So given is AC equals to BC. So AC plus AC is equals to AC plus BC. AC plus AC is equals to AC plus BC. So 2 AC is equals to AB and AC equals to 1 upon 2 AB. AC. Question number 5 says in question 4 point C is called a midpoint of line segment AB. Prove that every line segment has one and only the midpoint. 
So here the solution is let C and D are two midpoints of the line segment AB. According to question 4, we have AC equals to 1 upon 2 AB and AD equals to 1 upon 2 AB. So AC equals to AD because things which are equal to the same things are equal to one another. This is a logic. So it is possibly only if C and D coincides with each other. Hence the midpoint C is unique question number six which says in figure if ac equal to bd then prove that ab equal to cd given that ac equals to bd ac minus bc is equals to bd minus bc bd minus bc because if equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. So, AB equals to CD. Hence, proved. That is question number 7, which says, Why is axiom 5 in the list is Euclid axiom considered a universal truth? Note that the question is not about the fifth postulates. So, here the solution for the same is axiom 5. The whole number greater than the part since this is true for anything in any part of the world this is universal truth so that so guys this is all for this video if you have any doubt or queries related to any question just comment down in the comment section and if you like our video then share this video as much as you can and subscribe to our channel aglasm schools and thank you so much for watching